This video was filmed in studio using props. Your actual experience may vary. The TH-001 series is completely universal. Its 120 inch length can be adjusted to fit just about any tire. So I've begun my installation by lying the strap flat across in front of the tire. I've inserted my J-hook into the closest pooch hole to the tire. I also have to keep in mind the pooch hole's relation to the center of the tread. Next, I've taken my strap and positioned it down the center of the tire, making sure that I take our tread cleats, our rubber tread cleats here, and make sure that these protrusions fit inside the grooves of the tire. Before tensioning, always make sure that you've pushed your rubber cleats forward towards the ratchet. After I position my cleats, it's time for me to insert my rolling eyeliner. I'm going to be looking for a pooch hole that is again center across the face and as close to underneath the tire as possible. I've engaged my secondary rolling idler in the center to line up with my strap. Now it's time to attach your tensioner. Now the only thing I want to bring to your attention when attaching a tensioner is you need to make sure that you put it in a place that has enough clearance to allow it to be released. So I'll extend the ratchet completely open. If I can, if I have enough clearance there, then I'm okay. Make sure that you don't position it too close to the tire or position it underneath a low car deck. So now that we're in position to tension, all we need to do is hand remove the slack and then we're just going to ratchet. All you need to do is a simple arm strength. Don't over tension it. That's all the tension this will need to get to a safe destination. Lastly, store your ratchet handle by pressing down on the double lock and store your excess webbing and you're ready for traffic. Removing the TH-001 is, well, I'm not gonna say tricky, but I am gonna say you need to be cautious. The reason is, a lot of tension has been built up in this strap during transport. The actual procedure goes like this. You need to engage the locking mechanism and lift the device to 180 degrees. Stop right before you get there and pop. Now that the mechanism is released, you can easily release the rest of your strap and go about your day.